Oh god. God damn it, that's a, it's just the biggest fail. I haven't taken photos in over a month's time. When you're out of the practice of something, you lose confidence in it, and that loss of confidence makes me feel like I have no idea what I'm doing with photography anymore. So I wanted to take more photos, yeah. I don't think I've even done flower photography ever in my life. So mum had some like vase or some roses and stuff before. And I was like, oh, roses, perfect. But then I went to try and find the flowers and they weren't even there anymore. I asked mum, like, mum, where are the, where do you put the flowers? And she said, oh, I threw them in the bin. Here they are, look. Oh, what? Yeah, they look in awesome condition. Look at that. Oh, this one's a good one. Yes. Oh, yeah. What if? Instead of doing like a typical kind of like flowery kind of shoot, uh, which would be cool, but these flowers look like dog shit because they're old and everything. What if we use these and we set them on fire? We have some uh, some foil things, some water, just in case if uh, some fire catches some, some things on fire, uh -huh, yeah. The fire lighter things, kerosene, fire lighting gel, camera, got the 85 mil, and we've got the tripod and we're set. Fill it up halfway or something. So with this old kerosene thing, you have to make sure obviously that you put this away because if any of the flour that's on fire goes into this kerosene, it's just gonna go woof. Oh God. God damn it, that's a, it's just the biggest fail. Screw this remote control application. What I could try doing is setting it to manual focus. Maybe something like this with this bucket of flowers and we can have it so that it's leaning against it. Having it on one focus point and hope for the best. And then when it goes to, it comes to taking the photo, we just move it out of the way and then we'll replace it with the flower. Good, good. You ready? Three, two, one. Good one. Watch the fluid. Yep. Move it away. Move the fluid away. God! Right. No! Oh! I've learnt now that kerosene is just not the way to go when you're doing this kind of stuff. So maybe we got this other thing. It's called Samba Firelighter Gel. We've never used it before, so we don't know what to expect. Still going, I'm so surprised. This gel is way better. Still out of focus. But it's hard because the flame is so high that it goes out of frame. And you have to have like a thick flame, but not too high. I started thinking like, okay, what's another way that I can go about this? I ended up going on YouTube and I ended up seeing a video by, you probably know him, Geordie Koalatik. They get like a coat hanger or something and then they make it into a spiral. Then that got me thinking, I'm really passionate about making sure that you keep your inner soul, your inner child, like within you and you don't let society and everything external like beat you down and condition you into trying to fit in rather than actually belonging which is being who you are. The way that you protect that part of yourself is by consistently getting uncomfortable, pushing through your limits. Yeah, could I get both of those actually? If I had this thing like where it was like a spiral and that spiral is on fire and then we had something going in the middle, if we could have that little thing in the middle like a rose or something, that could be a signifier for your own soul. Soul. The more fire that is coming from society, the more you're letting society affect your true self. That's the whole message that I wanted to convey with this photo that I wanted to take. With a lot of the photography things where people have the spiral thing and they uh, they have the things attached to it, they'll have a model at the other side holding onto it to make it so it extends out into a spiral. How can I actually make the spiral thing but not have to have someone hold it out like that? Something that can just be a spiral but it holds itself up by itself so I can just like take the photo having it being there last little bit okay all right got two in bring it around i threaded the things around it so it was actually working i realized it started again because it's on the inside this needs to be on the outside <laughs> You fucking stupid piece of shit. This this needs to needs to be an extra thing here. 
I've actually screwed it this whole day. I'm, I'm just sick up. of it. I'm sick of doing this shit. <laughs> fucking hate this. <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you laughing? It's funny. Two, three, four, right here. It doesn't really stand up that much. Now that we look at this whole wire situation, we've realized as soon as we add any weight to this, it's just gonna fall over. So if we are going to keep on doing this, we have to use a different kind of material. So we're gonna have to start over one more time. So I'm so used to like just having one thing and just like focusing on that and then just like executing and then onto the next thing. But this, this is the fourth day of trying to sort this out for this photo shoot. And I don't even know if it's gonna turn out good. And it's not even about the outcome, but it's kind of hard to make it not about the outcome when you've spent so much time and effort trying to get this thing right. All right, that's way better. That is way better than before. And this also can just stand up at by itself. That's exactly exactly what I wanted this whole time. End up getting some bandages. I end up wrapping it around it so that I could light that on fire. End up going over and finding some vines. And then it came on to the final frontier. Trying to set this damn thing up. This is gonna be on here in the center like this. Hopefully it can look directly upwards. That's the only problem with this tripod. I don't know if it actually can. It's not centered. Yeah, I'm trying to... It took like probably about 40 minutes in order for me to actually just line it up to a good enough frame where I was like, okay. I think that's the best we're gonna get it. We need something to hold up the road, so we're gonna need like a ladder or something and like maybe something come out of the ladder. We ended up like putting the, the rows down into it. Brushing the fire gel all over it, all down it. And then as I'm doing it, Fuck! You didn't move it. I just fucking moved the tripod. I did. Because I, I kicked it. I kicked it. I've come this far. We are pretty much here. Let's just keep pushing through. We can do this. Last thing left to do is to just put this gel on this like spiky star looking part of the rose so that we've got the fire sort of fireball like around it. We just need to be really careful that this doesn't drip because if it drips onto the glass then that means that the, the thing's gonna be all smudged and they'll ruin the whole photo. So I don't know whether to do the rose or not. Well, so if you light the rose, it, it'll, it'll curl up and stuff, but it's still very green. I think we should do it. I reckon the we rose. should just send it. Yeah, the rose. No, no, like uh, this thing, the green thing. I can't really get to it. If this doesn't go to plan, then the whole thing is just a big failure. But at this point, I've just accepted success or failure. Doesn't matter. I've grown heaps through this whole process. So let's just, let's see what happens. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, I'm so nervous. Right now. Yeah, go for it. Yep, yeah, but now, yeah, now move down. Yep, go quick, quicker. Quick, 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 quick. quick really quick, Nick. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you have to, you have to get Keep it. You have to down. get it. Keep going. Quick. No, it doesn't work. I can't get around it. Oh, here, here, here. Oh, shit. It's okay. Oh my god. Come on, Hayden. I need it to go on fire. Yeah, don't, don't, don't turn it sideways. Yeah. Let me do it. Fuck me. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Quick. Come on. Oh, this bit's falling. Oh my god. All right, let's take the photo. Go, 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 go. Rose on fire. Quick, quick. Quick. Wait, we need this to get out. Yeah, it's right in the middle. <sighs> All right. Well, I haven't seen the photos properly yet. Hopefully, it's in focus. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty sick. I love the symmetry and everything in it. And I, I do really like the leading lines and I, I like the contrast of like the fire onto the rose. But the message behind this photo is what 
matters the most. The whole message behind this photo, and this is gonna sound extremely poetic because I was feeling very creative when I wrote this. The more you focus on outcomes, the more the flames of pressure will burn your flower. The more you focus on the process, the more you nurture your flower and freedom will be yours. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the message behind the photo. This whole photo shoot was an example of focusing on the flames of outcomes and what it can do to your soul. And what it did to my soul was I felt extremely frustrated. I was full of fear, anxiety, and I built up layers of insecurity just by doing that. That's how I don't like to create. But I'm super grateful that I did go through that experience because it's another reminder of the importance of focusing on the process so we can push through our limits and grow into the person that we wanna be. Question of the day. How do you spend time when not creating any content for your channel? Hey yo, I love your vids, mate. Uh, it's absolutely mint. Thanks, brother. I like to read, I like to write. I like to work out, I like to watch movies, spend time with friends, look at YouTube videos, I like to, yeah, and th that's, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again, and I'll catch you next time.